Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to be talking today about uh, how to do the template for InDesign if you're going to be doing a greeting card. Um, so at the bottom of your document, if you go to step five, design, there's this chart right here which is pretty handy and it tells you all the different uh, standard card sizes. You could have it in the shape of a square, so you'd use this one. This would be a smaller square. This would be actually very tiny. Um, this regular is almost a sheet of paper folded in half, but it's a little bit smaller. And then uh, there's like some skinny ones and other ones that are kind of a little bit more obscure. But these ones up here are kind of the more standard sizes. So I'm going to go with the regular 7x10. Um, so I go into InDesign. And we go to File New. Or just click New right here. And it's going to be two pages because you're going to have a front and a back. And the width is going to be the largest number, so 10 inches. Now I have to put a quotation mark here to say inches. Or I can type in the word IN, but it has to be inches. It can't be, uh, if I just left a 10 there, it would uh, stay 10 picas, which is a, a, a different measurement. So you have to tell um, the program that you want inches, and it'll convert it automatically to picas, which is fine. So then I said uh, 7 inches here, so I'll just put 7 quotation mark, and you'll notice it'll convert that to 42 picas. Two columns, because we do have uh, uh, left, right, and I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and click OK. And we're left with this. And as I zoom out, you can see that there is a top and a bottom. Or, uh, sorry, front, back, middle, or inside. So uh, the standard thing you might want to do is this will be your front. Let me make that larger. Oops, wrong button. This right here will be the back. So there it is. And then let me just copy these. This will be the left. And this will be the right. And so when you print it out, it will uh, print out front and back. My, my printer will actually print both sides. And then this will be the front cover. All the stuff in the middle, left and right. And this will be the back. But let's say that instead you'd rather have it be um, uh, up and down. So you, you would rather open it so that this is what the front is right there. What do you have to do? So like, like, and this would be the back. And instead of left, right, you'd have a top and a bottom in the middle. If that's the case, this is a little less, oops, I didn't mean to push that. This is a little less intuitive. So instead what you need to do, and I actually cheated because I forget, is it's going to look like this. Front is going to be facing that way. Back is going to be upside, uh, backwards. So you'd go like this. And then the front is going to go like this. And then the left and the right, instead of left and right, it's inside top, inside bottom. And they print, ooh, that didn't look good. Like, let me just send it to auto. Inside top is going to be facing this way. And inside bottom is going to be facing this way. So again, it's very counterintuitive. You really just trust me on this one and, and use it like this. Which means when you make your graphics here, like if you have a Christmas tree, it's got to be pointing downward like the words are. And the same thing opposite in the back. And these need to be pointing this way. It's kind of hard to work with though when everything's turned, right? So what you can do is you can rotate your spread. So if you're working on the front, go up here to view and say, hey, rotate my spread 90 degrees clockwise. And then it'll look like that. So you can work on the front. And if you want to work on the back, you can go up here to your view and you can rotate it 180 degrees, so now your back is here, like that. And then the same thing down here, if I just click on this, uh, obviously this is not very easy to work with, so I just go to View, Rotate Spread, 90 degrees, counterclockwise, yeah, there you go. So then you can work on it, it's going to be a little bit easier for you to see what you're doing. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.